Madam Speaker, Congress has already passed and President Trump has already signed into law a ban on tobacco product sales, including vaping product sales, to children under the age of 21. We did that. It is now law. Those are banned. The Food and Drug Administration is aggressively going after companies that still try to target kids and has the authority to stop them and will. But we all care deeply about the health of our children. Taking care to protect the health and welfare of children is a common cause. We know that the younger the child, the more vulnerable and defenseless they are, and the more these children need our help. That's why we are offering a final amendment to the bill that literally would save the lives of the youngest children, the babies. I would hope we could agree to end the ghastly practice of letting die without medical help children when they are born alive after an abortion. Providing literally life-saving medical care to these babies is something we should all find common ground and support. It is the right thing to do. This will be in order. It is the right thing to do for the children, for the children. These are not fetuses that are born. These are tiny little babies that are struggling to live. I now yield to the author of the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act, Mrs. Ann Wagner of Missouri, a mother and a grandmother herself, who always puts the lives of children first.